Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at the subreddit r slash I don't work here lady. So sit back, relax and enjoy some Reddit stories. You really don't work here? Well, you should still help me anyways. Went to have lunch with my boyfriend over his break. We ate at the back room and then finished up and walked out of the back room into the store. That's when Karen spotted me. My boyfriend was wearing the uniform of the store, solid coloured shirt with a name tag and solid coloured pants. I was wearing a polka dotted cardigan, a denim skirt, no name tag, zebra printed converse and jewellery. He works in a department store and made a beeline for his department, which is mostly outdoors. I decided to stick around to buy some windshield wiper fluid, so was walking toward the aisle. Karen flagged me down. Excuse me, hey, hi, I'm in a rush babe, so... Hi, actually I... I need to buy a desk fan and... Oh, actually, I'm not finished. But... A desk fan and bath towels. The soft kind, not the cheap ones. Do you have any laminating sheets? Actually, never mind. I need a... Ma'am, listen. A mesh basket. Staple refillers. Are there different sizes? Anyways, I need the medium size, I guess. Are you listening? I'm in a huge rush. And... So finally, I just started walking away. It's at this point that Karen grabs my shoulder. I don't react well to being touched by strangers. What are you doing? I wasn't finished. I am on a time crunch, babe. Why are you being so impatient? I mean, really, you're at work, honey. It's like no one respects people older than them these days. I just can't believe... I don't work here. Do I look like I work here? Karen looks at me and realizes her mistake and becomes visibly embarrassed. I'm finally calming down from having been grabbed by a stranger. But, but, but you came out of an employee-only door. I was visiting my boyfriend for lunch. Even if I worked here, you... You... you ah, you just don't touch someone. So, you really don't work here? No. So, can your boyfriend help me? No, he works in gardening. Karen stops to think for a moment. I guess she had a system error when she couldn't ask for my manager, seeing as I didn't work there. She was looking extra embarrassed now and dramatically shielding her face like there were paparazzi covering her important life. Well, you probably know the store if your boyfriend works here. You could just help me find my things. That would be the nice thing after causing this inconvenience when I told you I'm in a hurry. Why would I help you after you grabbed me like a street thug? Are you insane? We're done. I turn to go, still shaken up. She calls after me. You can't blame me for thinking you work here when you came out of an employee-only door. I'm going to report your boyfriend to the garden manager for having you back there. Woman. I stopped myself before I flew into a full-on rage. Excusez-moi? I stopped walking away at that point because I didn't actually know whether my boyfriend was technically allowed to have me back there or eat lunch back there and didn't want to get him into trouble. But I also couldn't bring myself to help this woman after all that. Fine, fine, I'll help you, just make it quick. I snatched her list from her and sure enough I knew where about half the things were which made it all that much easier to strategically avoid those aisles as I dragged Karen on a time-sucking trek around the store. Hmm, this is where they keep the laminating sheets and they're out, but you can get a 48-pack of duct tape and tape a clear layer over your documents. It'll work just as well. Here you go. Hmm, I could have sworn it was aisle 5, but I guess it's actually aisle 25. We have to go back. Oh, silly me, it was aisle 6. Back we go. Oh, you know what? They're out. 
Oh, never mind, my mistake, it's actually aisle 18. We did this for almost 45 minutes, longer than I thought I could pull off. There's no cell reception in the store and almost no clocks to keep people shopping longer. So it wasn't until we walked past customer service and she saw their desk clock that she realized how long this had been going on. She was ticked. She stormed past eight people waiting in the customer service queue to file a complaint about me, eating lunch with my boyfriend, then wasting her time. I knew the customer service guy, not super well, but we'd met. He listened patiently to her side of the story, then came over to me separately and asked what happened. I broke down, I was so upset. I said, I was having lunch with my boyfriend and she saw me leaving the back room and said if I didn't help her buy the things on her list she'd get him fired and I had no idea it was against the rules and he didn't either. I swear, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to waste her time, this store is just so big and she didn't give me a choice, she said I had to help her and… I'm crying by then and the customer service guy goes, Whoa, 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 slow down. People have lunch back there all the time. It's not a problem. I'll give her a coupon and she'll unclench. Just go home. So I lingered to be sure the customer service guy didn't get in any trouble defending me because on the hierarchy, he was basically the same level as my boyfriend, so would be vulnerable if Karen escalated. CSG is the customer service guy. Ma'am, if you'll just join the line, I will resolve this issue to your satisfaction. Are you freaking kidding me? I just missed my appointment because of that stupid girl, and you're telling me to what? Wait, what? Where? What? Where is your manager? I can call my direct supervisor ma'am, but you'll have to wait for him at the back of the line. These other customers have been here and once I service them, I'll help you right away. I want to talk to him now. He isn't back here at the moment, he's attending to business elsewhere in the store, but I have notified him he's needed at this desk and he'll be here to assist you at his earliest convenience. Don't try to play me dumb, he's back there. I can tell he's back there. If he were here, you'd see him. Back here is just behind the desk. Further back, all we have back there is a fax machine and file cabinet. I assure you, there are no offices or anywhere anyone would be staked out to avoid you. Now, excuse me, I need to help this customer. Karen keeps trying to get his attention and he keeps helping someone who's returning a cartload of stuff. Finally, Karen tries to launch herself over the counter, but does not have the agility to make it over and just kind of bounced a couple inches off the ground. Security came over at this point and asked her to either join the queue, shop or go home. She stalked off with a security officer, who was way less understanding than the customer service guy, to try and sell her tale of woe. I took that opportunity to go home. My boyfriend had to go directly to his second job, but I can't wait to laugh about this with him later. I'm really surprised OP managed to like run her around the store for so long, because that is amazing. That's like the perfect thing you could do. Sure, let me get the manager. The background, I am a truck driver. For a short period of time, I used to make deliveries to home improvement stores. Nothing fancy or fun, just countertops. So I am always in the back of these stores where the employees only are allowed. The story. I arrived at my delivery one afternoon at one of the improvement stores. I pulled around, get their order ready for them to remove with a forklift and proceed inside to give them the paperwork. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Well, I needed to use the restroom while I was waiting for the staff to get me to unload their portion of the truck. So I informed them that I was running up front in case they had any questions about the accessory boxes. As I'm heading to the front, a customer sees me and asks me for some help. 
Excuse me, but I need your help with board cutting. I'm sorry, but I don't work here. But you just came from the back room. Yeah, I am delivering items to this store. I, I don't work here. Why don't you want to help me? It's not that I don't want to. I, I can't do anything here. You don't have to be rude about it. I want to speak to a manager. Sure, stay here so I can let them know exactly where you are. I walk away without hearing her reply or really even caring. I go to use the restroom and take a longer path to avoid running into that customer. I still wonder how long they ended up waiting there until they realized that a manager wasn't coming by. <laughs> Legend says they're still waiting there today. I just got fired. I never thought I would experience this in my lifetime. I'm a hard worker, extremely dependable and respectful. Not sure how I could lose a job like this, especially when I only just got it. So I work late and just about every night for the last few weeks at least, I stop by Walmart to get something for dinner. I usually get off around midnight and stop by on my way home. Every time I'm at Walmart, barely anyone is there except for the night crew, stocking up the store and doing their own thing. Now, from what I have noticed, they don't have much of a uniform. Many of them are in hoodies or jackets of different colors, just to add some context. I showed up last night and I'm wearing a hoodie. I begin to walk up and down the aisles trying to figure out what I want for dinner. I'm thinking pasta and walk past a few guys who are loading the shelves. All of a sudden, I start hearing this guy yelling. This voice gets louder. Hey, hey, are you listening? I turn to look to see what is going on and this guy approaches me. You're late again. Don't think I haven't noticed you walking in the door after 12. I begin to laugh, thinking this guy is joking around. Before I can even say anything, he jumps on me. You think this is funny? Your job must not be important to you. I want you to follow me to the office. Now I'm completely confused and start looking around like I'm on some hidden camera show. He starts to walk off and I turn around to go back to shopping. He comes back a minute later and starts to yell. You want to be fired? Because if you don't come with me now, I will fire you. I start to laugh even harder, then ask him, <laughs> what's my name? He gives me this puzzled look, so I ask him again, what's my name? Do you even know who I am? He looks at the other guys in the aisle who have stopped stocking the shelves at this point to watch this event unfold. He then looks back at me, trying to figure out what exactly to say back to me before his head explodes. Good luck filing the paperwork to fire me when you don't even know my name. I continue to laugh at this whole stupid charade. I pick up some ingredients for spaghetti, trying to give this guy a clue. He storms off and I look at the other guys in the aisle. I'm sure he will figure out eventually I don't work here. They start laughing and I go on. Can't believe I lost the job I just found out I had in the same night. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Like, what's my name? It's like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. But I can't help feel bad for the person that the manager was mistaking him for. There's probably a new employee that looked similar to him who's just been fired now. <laughs> I guess I didn't need my basket? This happened two or three years ago. I was at Walmart looking for a dustbuster vacuum and had a number of items in my cart besides. I was wearing a grey t-shirt, Hawaiian shirt over that and khaki cargo shorts. Not exactly Walmart's uniform, right? Anyway, I'm looking at which dustbuster I want to buy when this woman walks up. Excuse me, you're not using this, are you? She gestures to the cart. Um, yeah, actually, I've got quite a bit of stuff in it, more than I can carry. Well, you can just go get another one, right? She starts unloading my cart in front of me and putting my stuff on a shelf. 
Um, you don't have anything yet. You can get your own. Please stop. I don't feel like it. Look, do I have to go get my husband over there to make you give it to me? Christ, lady, if you're willing to threaten violence, just take the dang thing. I turn around and start to walk away. She looks at me, at my stuff, and back to me. You're just leaving all this for me to empty? Wait. Wait, she says. You don't work here? Do I look like I work here? Oh, I thought you worked here and were stocking shelves. That's so funny. Isn't that funny? Huh? I basically looked like a grumpy cat at that point. I said, it would be a lot funnier if you apologized and gave me my cart back. I guess it was funny enough for her. She huffed and walked away. With my cart. I didn't feel like escalating at that point, so sadly no happy ending. That's funny, isn't it? N no, it's not, woman. <laughs> like, ah. Oh. I don't work here, but I dress like a manager, so I'll act like one. I work in a department store which rhymes with Willard's in our local mall, and I was required to wear dress slacks, a dress shirt and tie, as were all male employees. Occasionally on my lunch break or after my shift, I would walk around the mall for some exercise. I usually took off my name tag so people wouldn't hassle me about my store, like when is the next sale and such. I had a friend who was an assistant manager at the bookstore, so I would pop in there to tell him a joke or two sometimes. This day, he told me that bigwigs from corporate were supposed to come, but they cancelled last minute. Then he asked me if I would scare some of his workers. I said sure. So I walked up to two of his employees that were talking and crossed my arms and put on a stern look. Guys, I need more working and less talking from you two. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. My friend came up to me and fake apologized to me, saying they were new. They both went off in separate directions to find something to do. Then a customer came up to us and asked where a certain author was. So I turned to my friend and asked, Well, don't you know your store? Help this young lady. I'll be back later. I bought him several beers later when we laughed over the two employees freaking out that they had been caught talking by someone from Corpora. He said the lady asked if I was his regional manager. You see, that is the fun, harmless pranks that people should be doing. That's funny. Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.